This is Newsletter GPT. It's a new GPT that writes the perfect newsletter content every time. In this video, we're gonna run an example. Then I'm gonna show you how it was made in the back end. You're gonna see the full custom instruction for this GPT. We'll show the special knowledge base that makes this custom GPT as effective as it is. And then we'll finish with another example. Let's get into it. One of my favorite newsletters to read, I used to read this every single morning, is The Morning Brew. The Morning Brew is a business newsletter with a fun, witty tone. It also talks about pop culture, tech, world and political events, entertainment, sports. You know, it's well written, has some fun games. It's a good format, good style, good tone. And I always thought it'd be cool to get a custom GPT to write a newsletter exactly like Morning Brew. You know, it's popular for a reason. It's one of the most read newsletters. So why don't we copy its style and bring it to our own niche, our own readers? So I did that with this custom GPT. All right, let's walk through an example. The newsletter GPT, it says it writes the perfect newsletter content every time, and we have to start by providing it some news article text. So let's say it was a sports newsletter. I'd go something like ESPN. And there was a big basketball game last night. So let's go to the home of NBA and let's try to find an article about that Lakers game. I'm going to click this. I'm going to copy this text from the article. Scroll all the way down. Let's copy it. And all we got to do is paste it into newsletter GPT, hit enter. And it's going to start by searching its knowledge base and then write newsletter content in the style of Morning Brew. So I'll wait for this to finish and then we'll read it through to show you its style and tone. So it's a decent length of content, not too long. It starts with a title, King James Reigns in Vegas. As the NBA's first in-season tournament unfolded in the electrifying atmosphere of Vegas's T-Mobile Arena, LeBron James, just shy of 39, was not just participating, he was dominating. In a stunning display of skill and athleticism during the semis against the New Orleans Pelicans, James racked up 30 points, 8 assists, and 5 rebounds, leading the Los Angeles Lakers to a crushing 133-89 victory. The win set up a tantalizing championship face-off with the Indiana Pacers, who had their own triumph earlier against the Milwaukee Bucks. Okay, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but this is some newsletter content in the style and tone of Morning Brew that we could copy and paste into our newsletter software, whether it's Beehive, MailChimp, or a Substack. We can start crafting our email newsletter with multiple pieces of content, kind of like puzzle pieces. If you guys want a tutorial or a walkthrough of how I would do it with a software like Substack or Beehive, how I would create my newsletter, format it using newsletter GPT, and then send it out to all the subscribers on a consistent basis, just write in the comments below. I'll create a video about that. But let's continue with this. Let's go to the back end to see how newsletter GPT was created. Okay, so this is the custom GPT backend. I'm gonna go to configure and we're gonna make the instruction a bit bigger. Let's walk through this. First, you are a custom GPT designed to create newsletter sections from news articles. Now, in my last video, we were able to get the secret prompt behind GPT-4 Turbo in ChatGPT. And when walking through the video, we noticed something interesting that in their prompt, in OpenAI's prompt, they bolded letters they capitalized phrases that were very important and they formatted it kind of like this. So this gave me a clue that the GPT-4 model has been programmed to follow steps with this type of formatting. So in all my future custom GPTs, I'm going to be using this formatting. And so far it worked perfectly with this newsletter GPT. So step one, the two stars on each side bolds it. And I'm not 100% sure, but I'm thinking the AI is looking at this, like this step one, and it's thinking, ooh, this is very important because it is bolded. So step one, the user will provide news article text. And we did that with the ESPN article. I found an article, I have a sports newsletter, and I paste it in that article to newsletter GPT. Step two, again, this is very important. I had to tell the AI that it needs to search your knowledge base. If you don't tell it, it won't do that loading symbol that it's looking through its knowledge base. I had to force it to look through that to get an example that I wanted to use. So I said, search your knowledge base to understand the style, tone, wit, and format 
of the 15 provided Morning Brew newsletter examples. Okay, we're gonna look at that in a second. I have a bunch of ideas to update this GPT, and one of the ideas is I'm gonna provide way more examples, maybe up to 50. But I thought I'd just start with 15 to see how it worked, and it works pretty well. Next, this will guide the writing style of the newsletter section in step three. Okay, step three is bolded with the two stars. Condense the news article into 250 words of newsletter content. On average, I found that Morning Brew newsletter sections is about 250 to 350 words. Not all the time, but on average. And if I didn't put this into the prompt, the AI would actually go nuts and write way more content than we need. We want our newsletter to be multiple sections, so it's better to condense each article into smaller content. Okay, the next I have examples. If you've watched any of my videos, I'm a huge fan of writing out custom instructions with steps and then providing some examples. Just a fun little bit of information, I tried to provide all the Morning Brew examples in the custom instructions, and I got an error saving it. So this is limited to 8,000 characters, just in case you were curious. In this instruction, I explained to the AI how this file is formatted. So it can quickly look through its knowledge base and know how I formatted the examples. So it can grab them, it can emulate, it can mirror the style and tone and then shoot out content that matches what Morning Brew has done. So I wrote, in your knowledge base, I've uploaded a file called morningbrewexamples.txt. That's the file, we'll go through it in a second. In this file are 15 examples of Morning Brew newsletter content for you to emulate. Each example is formatted like this. And I wrote one, the example number. So we have example number one to example number 15. The title is in bold of the newsletter section. Number three, the contents of the newsletter section. And I told it that it sometimes contains bullet points and subheadings. And it's been pretty random whether newsletter GPT will spit out content with subheadings or bullet points or not. In the example I showed at the start of the video, it did not. Maybe if I give it more examples of the bullet points and subheadings, it would start doing that. I like that formatting style. And then I wanted to say how each example ends so it knows that the next example is starting soon. And if you look at Morning Brew, each section usually ends with the initials of the person who wrote it. And it's like a dash dash SK. I told it this is not needed. So let's close this. In the example section, it's pulling from the knowledge base. And this is that morningbrewexamples.txt file. I'm going to open it to show you what we have. So this is the knowledge base file. It starts example one. And what I did is I just took sections from the Morning Brew articles. So if you go in the issues archive in Morning Brew, I started to go through each of these issues. So I opened in a new tab. I looked at the newsletter and I would take the sections of the newsletter content that are not ads, like this is an ad, and it's not their fun parts like tour to headlines where it's just three quick bullet points from around the world. So each newsletter had two or three of these actual articles and I would grab the title, go to the examples, paste in the title, go back and then grab all the content. So copy this, go back into my doc and paste it in. So you got one example here. Here's the second example. It's that exact article I was showing you. See how it shows the bullet points. There's a subheading here. Example number three. Remember I told in the custom instructions that this is how the knowledge base is formatted. So it knows, hey, this is example number three. You know, same thing, title, content, example number four, and it goes all the way down to example number 15. This document was downloaded as a .txt file. I just went up to file, download, and instead of .docx, I tried to make it a plain text, simple formatting, so .txt. I've read that this format is easier for the AI to read. So yeah, that's newsletter GPT. This is completely free to use on the plus plan of ChatGPT. I'm sorry, a lot of comments have been saying that they can't use this. It's because they're on the free plan. And I don't think I can remake this for the free version. I have with some of my other GPTs. And the reason why is it pulls from a ton of examples. So it would make the prompt way too long for GPT 3.5 Turbo to read. I'll provide the link in the description below this video. When you open it, you're gonna go to this page. And again, all you have to do is paste in a news article, find the niche of your newsletter. So let's do a different example here. I'm just gonna go to reddit.com slash news. And here's a CNBC article about Elon Musk. Let's say your newsletter was about tech. This looks to be about Tesla. I'm gonna click into the article and let's scroll down here and we're gonna copy all of the article text like this. 
go back to newsletter GPT. All you got to do is paste it in super easy hit enter. It's going to search the knowledge base for all the morning brew examples and then spit out a morning brew style newsletter content. All right. Thanks for watching everybody later.